Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math Olympiad geometric challenge. And here we have a nice right triangle in which the one side length of this right triangle is 101 and other two sides lengths are unknown and we denote it by x and y. So uh, here uh, we first find the values of these x and y. And after that, we find the parameter of this triangle as well as the area of this right triangle. So that the very first thing we are going to do is here first, you see that uh, the side opposite to the right angle is known as the hypotenuse. So that this is the our hypotenuse and the side we join these two angles is, uh, is called uh, the base. So this is our base and this side is called the perpendicular so now here we first use the uh, nice uh, pythagoras theorem so according to the pythagorean theorem we know that it is hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square so we state the pythagoras theorem in this way and now we substitute the value of uh, hypotenuse base and perpendicular uh, in this nice formula so uh, this expression implies that we have the value of hypotenuse is y so it will becomes y square equals to uh, the value of our base is 101 and it, it's square plus the value of perpendicular is x square so here we uh, need some simplification so now first we move this x square in the left hand side and it will be written as y square minus x square equals to 101 and we know that the square of 101 is equals to 10,201. 10, so now in the left hand side we use the algebraic identity and we know that uh, a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we have we written this is y minus x times of y plus x equals to 10201 so now we focus on the right hand side and uh, uh, we see that in left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now first we convert the possible factors in which we get 10,201 so that the possible factors of 10,201 are uh, 10,201 multiplied by 1 so it is equals to 10,201 and if we multiply 101 times of 101 it is also equals to 10,201 so here we cannot choose the negative values because we deal with the sides of the triangle and it cannot be negative so here we choose this positive value so we have these two um, possibilities in which we get uh, uh, 10201 so now we uh, we compare the left hand side on these two cases so here we uh, we can just uh, drive two cases so first we compare uh, y minus x uh, to the uh, to this case and after that we compare this in the lower case so in the upper case uh, we will just choose here uh, y minus x equals to 1 so we compare the left hand side from these pairs so we take y minus x equals to 1 and y plus x equals to 10201 and similarly now in second case we compare this equation in this so we get here y minus x equals to 101 and y plus x equals to 101 so we have these two possibilities so now we can uh, focus on these two possibilities and we get the values of uh, x and y so first uh, uh, we uh, first you can see here in the second case so in this case uh, if we subtract these two values then you see here uh, after subtracting these two equations we can just change its signs and we see that these y are cancelled by each other and minus x and minus x equals to minus 2 times of x and this is positive and negative are gone so this implies that the value of x is equals to 0. 
but you see in the diagram we have x be the perpendicular side of this right triangle uh, so we know that any side of triangle cannot be zero so uh, it is not possible uh, x equal to zero so in this case we get x equal to zero is not possible condition so that we rejected this case because the side length of any right triangle cannot be zero so here we have uh, only uh, this case we can proceed this case and we get the values of x and y from here so uh, the uh, in the next step we will just uh, add these two equations first so when you add these two uh, equations then you see here this is the positive and negative are cancelled by each other and we add y plus y is two times of y and when we add these two then we get 9202 here we divide both sides by 2 and we get the value of y equals to 5101 so this is the value of y and now we put this value of y uh, in in this equation so we call this as equation number 1 so we put this value in equation number 1 and we get 5101 plus x equals to 10201 and now we move this value to the right hand side and we get the value of x equals to uh, 10201 minus 5101 it is equals to uh, 5100 so this is the value of x so that here we find all these three values of uh, x, y and z. So we have x equals to 5100 and the value of uh, y equals to 5101 and we can denote the third value which are given here we call this as 101. So now we move towards to find the parameter as well as the area of the given triangle so in order to find the parameter uh, we know that the formula of uh, parameter uh, we know that parameter equals to all the side length of the triangle so uh, all the side length are x plus y plus z so if we add all the side length of uh, this triangle so we denote this side length equals to z so if you add some these three uh, side length then it will gives us the parameter so here we add these three and we have uh, the value of x is 5100 the value of y is 5101 and z is 101 and when we add these three values then you get here 10302 units so this is the parameter of this uh, the given uh, right triangle and now we find its area and we know that the formula of area is 1 over 2 times of uh, base multiplied by its uh, height so you see in the diagram we have our base is uh, 101 and our height is denoted by uh, uh, is denoted by x so that the value of x is 5100 and now we can simplify this equation and we easily get the area of triangle is 25 75 and 50 square units so this is the area of the given right triangle so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos